Wing Chun? Versus Kung Fu. Ancient martial arts can be traced back as far as over 3,000 years. Today, they have evolved into amazing physical abilities that are combined with a mental and spiritual training that takes years to even get close to mastering. Wing Chun, Kung Fu, two martial arts styles that are similar in style yet different in delivery. But which one would win in a fight between the two? The skillful grace of Wing Chun or the force of Kung Fu? Let's find out. Hey there everyone and welcome back to the channel. Oh, and if you're new here, karate chop that subscribe button to stay up to date on every brutal video that we have in store for you. We appreciate your support more than you know. Wing Chun Masters versus a Kung Fu Master. What would happen in a match? To answer this, let's first look into what these amazingly brutal and skillful martial arts take to master. The Art of Wing Chun Wing Chun is a martial art that is considered concept-based. It originated in southern parts of China, and like many of the traditional martial arts, the details of its true origin are unclear, but the practice of it is well known. The legend has it that Shaolin Kung Fu master Nig Mui crafted the art after residing and studying with the Henana Shaolin Monastery. She had survived the destruction of the Manchu forces after her Sifu became a traitor after defeat during the reign of the Kangxi Emperor. Nig Mui had met a young lady by the name of Yim Wing Chun who was a bandit at the time trying not to be forced into an unwanted marriage. Nig Mui taught the young Yim Wing Chun how to defend herself by teaching her the Shaolin ways in a system that could be learned and implemented quickly and without needing great strength. Ip Man is known as the Wing Chun master and through his teachings and one of the most prominently well-known students, Bruce Lee, the world came to know what the art of Wing Chun could really do. The Blazing Strength Behind Kung Fu Unbelievable violence and hostility are found in many of other martial arts systems. This same behavior is not found in Kung Fu training because the nature of the training is such that a calm disposition and a feeling for one's training partners are developed intrinsically and harboring selfish, aggressive attitudes would work against the practitioners themselves. But this does not mean that the art of Kung Fu is by any means soft and frilly. Kung Fu incorporates a wide array of martial arts that bring together a fighting force that delivers power, agility, and overall balance. It is one of the arts with a main focus on self-defense rather than an offensive style. But this is common throughout all martial arts. The difference, however, is in the explosive power behind the craft. One of the most amazing names in Kung Fu is Li Xuan, famous for his superb martial arts skills. Due to his excellent boxing and spear technique, he got the reputation of never need to strike twice and the god of the spear. The abilities of a true Kung Fu master far surpass any common martial arts practices. 
but what would happen in a match between the two? Martial arts techniques are divided into four areas, striking, kicking, grappling and throwing, and seizing and locking the joints. Every type of Chinese Kung Fu contains techniques from each of these four areas. This is important because each category of techniques is effective against one or more of the other categories. With both of these fighting styles having an overall centered focus on self-defense, you would think it would be difficult to spot who would come out victorious. But we have the answer for you. If the two were equally matched in time spent mastering their crafts, the victor would be the Kung Fu Master. Don't believe us? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. But here is why we know this to be true. Kung Fu did not originally embody the massive forceful strikes as opposed to Wing Chun. But through time, since Wing Chun derives from Kung Fu, it encompasses both styles into one massive and explosive defensive and offensive fighting style. A Wing Chun master must first understand the art of Kung Fu in order to embody all of what Wing Chun has to offer. For the Kung Fu master, this could be a slight disadvantage because you would believe that since the Wing Chun utilizes the old and new skills, that it would be superior. But Wing Chun only acts as a softer version of the heavy hitter that is Kung Fu. The force and skill of a Kung Fu master would be just too much for a Wing Chun master to overtake. It would surely be an eventful fight, but we know the victor would be the Kung Fu master. There just isn't a martial art like this that can reign supreme. It's never too late to start practicing your Kung Fu Shaolin training. But if you just can't find the years to dedicate to that, won't you just stick around with us by clicking that subscribe button and get all of your martial arts and kung fu fixes right here on Brutal TV. That's all we've got for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.